Many years ago, my startup bought the Creality C or 10 printer. We printed many parts to many ugly robots and some cool trinkets. So we had some success with it, but we also often called it a devil printer because it would fail unexpectedly and would require tens of hours of debugging. It's working now, kind of, often, after many 3D printer doctors nursed it back to health. But I always wanted my own personal printer. So I bought the Anycubic Cobra Go printer for 125 euro, because I'm cheap. Let's see everything I printed in the first week. I began by printing this default L on the SD card. I thought it would be one of these smaller L's, but instead I got this big ass L, which used all my initial PLA. So I bought the eSun Olive Green PLA, got familiar with the Cura Slicer, and imported the Anycubic Cobra settings. Surprisingly, the printer hasn't needed much tuning, mostly just eyeballing the Z offset, and most prints have worked pretty well. Tried printing this whistle a few times, probably the tolerances are too low. Doesn't make any noise. This whistle though, the version 29 whistle, link in the description. Works. This is the calibration cube for flow rate. Seems like all the XYZs are good. Maybe a bit of elephant foot on the bottom. I think that's called elephant foot. These predator plier gear based mechanism is, is awesome. It turns linear motion into rotary motion. So pushing this, we have the, the gears in between here, which causes these to rotate clockwise and then these to rotate anti-clockwise. It's a lot of backlash between the gears though. As you can see, that is the definition of backlash. But it's cool, this kind of reckon pinion gear mechanism again, linear into rotary motion. I tried this classic catapult, but it's not compliant enough, so I don't get enough bounce, but it's an interesting mechanism. And this helicopter is a fun mechanism. Again, turning linear motion into rotary motion. The shape of the blades allow lift to occur. Another fun fidget toy, but it also flies pretty high. On our old devil printer, I tried many times to print these Nautilus logarithmic gears, but I finally got them working with the Anycubic printer. Most gears are circular, so it's interesting to see non-circular gears. As for actually useful, practical prints, this bag clip I'm pretty fascinated by, so I'll be studying it and trying to reverse engineer it in the future. This boomerang was a bit of a failure. Maybe I didn't crease the sides correctly. Or throw it correctly. This iris box reminds me of some science fiction movies. It's quite surprising actually that I was able to even print at all. It was difficult to separate the leaves though. So I had to use a knife to kind of break apart the plastic. One of the cooler things we printed on the Creality printer many years ago is this helical gear bearing. Another fidget toy, but it's also printed in place and can rotate really fast. This articulated octopus is pretty cute. 
kind of using a hinge or chain like mechanism and this is another example of something printed in place this would be very hard to assemble if all the parts were printed separately and put together however this is printed in place and there's a clear benefit of this use case Overall, I'm very happy with how out of the box this Anycubic printer is. All the links to the SDLs of what I printed are in the description. I've begun learning CAD with Onshape while going through teaching texts and other tutorials. Right click, export to SDL is all it takes to take something from your imagination to reality. So follow along to see where my imagination takes me. Thanks for watching.